I'm so happy you're here with me. New state, new apartment, new experiences. <laughs> it's gonna be great. What's wrong with you, Chens? Me? Yes, you. 
You can't just expect things to get better, Chance. It's gonna take a little more than just sitting around or go to the bar every other night. Don't even try and turn this around on me. No. I'm telling you what you need to hear. Have you even tried looking for a new job? You know what, Rachel? How about we just uh, drop the subject, okay? Drop the subject. Hmm. Why don't you go do something with your life, Chance? I wouldn't bring all this up if you just kept up with your share of the rent. I can't do everything myself. Yeah, man, come on, bring it in. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, what are you, how have you been? What are you doing here? Um, I've just been working a lot. Yeah. Working, huh? Yeah. Definitely. You, uh, working on the slope? Um, no. No, I've been um, working on my friend's shed just over um, there. So what, what about yourself? What brings you to Alaska? I mean, it's kind of a long story, but, uh, you know, actually, I'm on my way to lunch right now. You want to join me? No, I've, I've got errands that I need to run. Oh, come it's on. Just... It's my treat. I got like a whole hour to kill. If you insist, yeah. Yeah, come on. Let's go. Is it good? It's all right. Chance. Yeah? Is everything okay? Everything's fine. So, um... When did we graduate? It was like five, six years ago? Yeah, just about. Hmm. So, tell me, like, um, what are you doing up in Alaska, that is? Opportunity? You know, I mean, after high school, went into Portland State, finished a real estate program there, Came up here with my Uncle Louie and uh, been working with Westport Realty ever since. Really? Oh, yeah. No, I mean, it's great. Um, been there about two years and, I mean, yeah, <laughs> that's where I've been. Um, you know, you have to take every opportunity as it comes, know what I mean? Of course. Of course. So what about you? I thought by now you were going to be Mr. Big Hollywood Actor, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't mean it like that. Oh no, it's, it's quite alright. I thought the same. I'm just getting by for now, so it, it's alright. But, I mean, I remember back in the day you were pretty good, so you gotta be doing something, right? I was for a little bit. Yeah. 
I went and studied for at UCI for the last UCI over in California. Okay, right. Yeah, um, I started there for about a year and a half, and then decided to take a little break. Chance. I'm gonna be honest. Okay. I don't want you to take this the wrong way. You're not looking so good. What's going on? I lost everything. All right? Like, I, I have nothing. What are you talking about? Just that. I have, I have literally nothing. I don't have a job. I lost my car. Uh, Rachel kicked me out of the house just a couple months ago. And it's just, I even left the last of my belongings up at the bus station that we just left. Oh. Okay, what, what happened? A lot happened, Manny. Uh, uh, okay, uh, yeah, ob obviously, but I'm not still not understanding. How did you get from point A to point B? All right, so things started going downhill with me and Rachel. Um, I don't like to distress over things, but before I knew it, um, I picked up drinking, and my drinking became a little more than casual, and became quite the problem, to say the least. Chance, I mean, I, there's, there's help for this, there's, there's shelters, there's counselors to help you get jobs. It's not that simple, Manny. In order to get a good job, you have to put down an address. And some places won't even take you if you're not already hired somewhere else. And the shelters, you're not you're not even always guaranteed a spot. That's just that's just how it is. Alright? I didn't just give up. Alright? If anything, everyone gave up on me. Well, what about your family? They're still in Portland. And to their understanding, I'm still out studying, acting, and waiting for the day I'll come back and prove them wrong like I said I would. I mean, do you at least have a plan? Hi, Kim. Yeah, it's Manny. Can you do me a favor and go ahead and call Richard and let him know that I'm not... Yeah. Family emergency. Thanks, Kim. I'll tell you what, I'm going to help you out. Just, just come home with me, stay for a little while, I'll, I'll help you get a job, get back on your feet. I can't promise anything, but I'll, I'll even help you with your acting. Really? But on one condition. You go clean, Chance. No booze, no bullshit. Look, just don't... Don't think of this as a handout. Think of it as... me helping you help yourself. Okay. For old times. Manny... I... You're welcome.
Thank you. All right. Welcome to the Taj Mahal. Go ahead and put your coat right there. Shoes off in here. Okay. And right here is the bathroom. Towels are right up there. And here is the spare bedroom. Bed hasn't been used in a while, so the sheets are still clean. And uh, we have some spare towels right down the hall in the door to your left before the bathroom. So you're good for a shower in the morning. And yeah, we're good. Thank you, Mandy. Don't worry about it. I'll be in my room if you need anything.
Morning. How'd you sleep? That's the best sleep I've gotten in months. Yeah. It's good to hear. We got coffee right there, and then there's some mugs right up there in the corner. Yeah, yeah, he's actually right here with me. Seven o'clock? You know, I think that's gonna work out. Thank you. Bye. Who's that? You, my friend, are going to an AA meeting. An AA meeting? Yeah, it stands for alcohol. I, I, I know what it is. You really think I need to go to an AA meeting? You remember our deal, right? I'm willing to help you, but you gotta stay clean. Okay? All right. I'll go. Awesome. When is it? Seven o'clock. Hmm. Great. Thank you all for being here tonight and for believing in yourselves. For taking those first step into a life free from the chains of addiction. I'd like to welcome each of you to Sex Addicts Anonymous. Are you okay? Sorry, I just realized I'm in the wrong meeting. Look, I get it. I know how intimidating these things are and I know you may be thinking this isn't for you. But I'm here to tell you, you are in the right place. No, I'm not supposed to be here. You're right. You're not supposed to be here. You're supposed to be out there living a life free from the chains that bind you. And you. And you. And you. So please, take a seat so we can begin. Thank you, all. Now, to solve a problem, we must first understand the problem. And not just an isolated idea or a concept, but in its context. So let's talk about our problems. Let's talk about the series of actions that we make that cause us to repeat our wrongdoings. So who wants to start? Veronica. <clears throat> so I guess it started a few years ago, um, back when I worked at Go Nuts um, for Donuts. <sighs> you know, I don't know. I, something about holding the donuts, feeling them with my bare hands, <sighs> it just kind of turned me on, I guess. So every night after we'd closed, I would take some donuts home, you know, and have some fun with them. And is this something you still do? Almost every night. Can you talk a little more about that? Well, it's like my boyfriend, he, um, he sort of wears the donut while we're 
engaged, um, and it's like it's like a cushion in between us. It's it's so soft and warm. So I guess I, I don't know what it would be like without um, using, the, you know. Thank you for sharing. Friend's place. It'll be fun. We're gonna have dinner, all right? Your lover. She's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> let's go. Come on. Come in. Que bom, mi amor. Mi amor. Hello. Hello. Okay. Hi. So, Veronica, this is Chance. Chance is my girlfriend, Veronica. Hi. Hmm. Nice to meet you. Hi. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, you as well. Awesome. So, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Dinner. Dinner's ready. You hungry? Oh, yes, of course. Perfect. Okay, Very take yourself. Mm. <clears throat> so, Chance, what line of business is it that you do? My, uh, my business? Mm hmm Yes. Um, Manny just, had mentioned that you were here. That you're in the uh, Renewable Energy Project up here. Oh, yes, my business. Um, so I'm going to be meeting up with a bunch of investors throughout the week. Mm -hmm. And with that, their contributions should be um, fairly upbringing and what I'm going to be doing. And it's going to be fantastic. Just like this dinner, actually, it's fantastic. Thank you. Oh, yes, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. So, uh, honey. Yeah. How was book club earlier today? It was, it was great. Yeah. We're still on the same chapter because one of the girls just she's dys dyslexic. Okay. Wow. You know what, can you, can you just excuse us for one second? Hmm. Yeah. Please? Yeah, of course. Okay, thank you. I'll be right back. Yeah. Acting like what? What are you reacting like? You, like you just killed somebody. You don't want me to find out about okay, it. Okay, so por qué tú estás mintiendo entonces? Lying about what? About Chance. I know he's not some kind of business guy. Ni se parece a un business guy. He's mi amigo de high school. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué es tu problema? Okay, why is he here though? Hey, he's here for the Renewable Energy Project. Renewable Energy Project. Manny. Something is going on, okay? And you're not telling me what it is. Manny. No tiene trabajo y no tiene donde vivir. Are you kidding me? Look, he's just gonna be with me for a little while until he gets back on his feet, that's all. How long is that gonna take? Just just a little while, just until he gets back. Maddie, se te ha olvidado que my grandparents are coming in this week, okay? It, it won't be that long, okay? We can, we can still do all of that. Papi, mira, you are an amazing man. You are. But I mean, you are crazy busy, and I am crazy busy, okay? And they're gonna be here for a couple of weeks. How are you gonna deal with that? Babe, I can manage my time. <clears throat> okay, so we don't really have any regular dessert, but we've got donuts. <gasps> that would be great, thank you, yes. Awesome. 
Yeah, yeah, all right. Okay, look, he hasn't he hasn't done this thing in a while, um, like a few years. But uh, look, I swear he, the guy's got some real talent. All right, so I just just give him a chance. Awesome. All right, thank you. Morning. Did you hear any of those gunshots last night? Oh? Are you serious? Yeah. How did you sleep through that? I don't know, maybe I'm used to it. It's nothing compared to Miami, I can tell you that from experience. Uh. Well, in other good news, Stacy from the talent agency just gave me a call today. They got auditions going on. Really? Oh yeah, they're at noon. Awesome. Uh, mm -hmm. Do do I need anything? Uh, Stacy said just an acting reel and uh, a couple headshots. Hmm. What about sides? I mean, they should have them on site. Okay. Will I have time to memorize them before I go and audition? I would assume so. Okay. You're looking a little nervous. I'm not nervous. I just... Uh, it's been about two years since I've done this. So... I think you'll do fine. Yes, dear. How was work today? Good. Yeah? You know, I called your office earlier. I was going to bring you lunch. But uh, when I asked for you, they said you haven't worked there in three months. So then I started thinking back to all these business trips you've been going on. Where have you been going? More importantly, who have you been seeing? Damn it, Nick. For once, will you tell me the truth? The truth? The truth is I don't love you anymore. You've changed. You've changed a lot since we've met. And so have my feelings for you. All you care about is how I make you look in front of others. Our time spent together is me watching you idolize yourself on social media. You disguise yourself as a nice person by doing small acts of kindness once in a while and then immediately sharing it with the world. You only care about me when your friends are too busy with their own lives. And everything I thought we had was always about you. And that, that is the truth. Cut. I like what we see here, Chance. We'll give you a call in a week or two and let you know if you got the part. Hey, how'd it go? It was all right. So what'd you do? I literally roasted this girl the entire time. The hell, I could have done that. Yeah. Hey, so uh, I got something to take care of downtown. Is there anywhere I can drop you off in the meantime? 
the strip club. Serious? No, no, I'm not serious. <laughs> All right, for real. Where? The library sounds good. The library? Yeah. What else am I supposed to do? It's Alaska. All right. In that case. Yeah. Well, what's this for? It's thirty dollars. Yeah, but I mean, like, I'm gonna be gone for a while. I mean, it's food, cab fare. Do you know where the spare key is? Yeah. Yeah, I do. All right, we're good. Who is it? Uh, Uncle Louie, it's me, Manny. Come in. Hey, sorry, uh, I was late, uh, got backed up in the office, you know. Well, welcome to the party. Uncle Louie, can I ask you something? No. <laughs> I was doing some thinking, and, um... Why did you take me in? You were a good kid, Manny. You were smart and always wanted to help people. But unfortunately, your mother couldn't see that. She cared more about her pills than her two sons. And it hurt me seeing your brother throw his life away. He had talent. He could have been a track star. He could have been something in this world. And I wasn't going to stand around watching the same thing happen to you. Now before you start crying, Let's watch a movie. I mean, it's it's getting pretty late. Maybe, maybe I should start heading out. 
Already? Well, you just got here. I mean, I've been here for like an hour and a half. So what? Chance? You been out drinking? It's not that big of a deal. Of course it's a big deal. Why are you trying to make this a thing, huh? Because we had an agreement, Chance. I have been busting my ass for you for days, and you're gonna try and pull this shit on me? Say something, damn it! I'm sorry, alright? What do you want me to say? That I messed up? Fine! I messed up! I made a mistake! I'm starting to think this was a mistake, Chance. Fix it. So last night... Don't worry about it. Manny... Manny, I need to apologize. Okay. Apology accepted. So... We got more good news. Another audition? Yeah. Fantastic. Chance Newman? Welcome, Mr. Newman. What sides do you have? The monologue for To Kill a Mockingbird? It's Very nice. Uh, Chance, give us your best performance. Whenever you're ready. I have nothing but pity in my heart for the chief witness for the state. 
She is a victim of cruel poverty and ignorance. But pity should not go so far as to extend. Cut! Chance? Yes? What the hell was that? Are you familiar with the story? I've seen the movie. All right, so you know what it's about. I want to see a lawyer, not some guy who memorized a piece of material a few minutes ago. Show me the lawyer. Make this the courtroom. Make me care about the situation. Chance, I want to see a lawyer. Action. I have not... I have nothing but pity for the chief witness for the state. She is a victim of cruel poverty and ignorance. But... Cut! Again, Chance, give me something to work with. You look like a bookstore manager with a superiority complex. Show me some character. Who are you? What do you do? Where do you live? Do you have a wife? A family? Do you have something troubling you deep inside? Uh, character is key. Who are you? Yes. No. Who are you? Fish. What are you? A lawyer. Damn right you are. Action. I have nothing but pity in my heart for the- Cut! Again! Action! I have nothing but pity in my heart for the chief witness for the- CUT! Character chance, show me some character! Action! I have nothing but pity in my heart for the chief witness- CUT! Will you just FUCK OFF! So, uh, how'd the audition go? Uh, it was alright. That's good. You know, there's a party going on with some of my work buddies, and I've got room for a plus one if you want to go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm down. Nice. I'll be outside. Wow, how do you know him? We both went to high school with each other. No kidding. Yeah, we had an acting class. Manny acting. <laughs> oh my god, if it's anything like his singing, it must be something worth watching. Manny knows how to sing? Is mm. he any good? Um, when you hear him sing, you'll know what I mean. All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> but enough about him. I want to know a little more about you. Um, hey, do you want to go somewhere a little more quiet? All right. Or genre? I'm a blues and soul kind of guy, and I especially love ballads. Ballads? Hmm. Oh, yeah. I can't imagine you listening to that. Most people don't. <laughs> when I was a kid, I would go over to my grandmother's house, and on cleaning days, she'd always be playing music. Ray Charles, Otis Redding, Al Martin, all the greats, really. Al Martin? Yeah. You've never heard of Al Martin? Uh, who is that? Oh, dear lord. <laughs> uh, let's look it up. Yeah, let's. Hello? 
Uh, my name is Connor Larson, and the song is called 1142 Take One. I hope you enjoy. But do you have your phone or a piece of paper so I can call you? Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't have a phone, but let me, um, let me get right on. What's this? What? Oh. I'll always be with you. I thought you said you didn't have a girlfriend. I don't. That is just a, um, just a photo. Just a photo. Well, it was nice knowing you, Chance. <sighs> Mila, it's, it's not what it looks like. It's, uh... Yeah, Mila, it's... It's not what it looks like. We're no longer to... Together. Shit.
Manny, how are you? I'm doing pretty good, you know, keeping myself busy as always. <coughs> Uncle Louie, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I... I'm, uh, I'm not liking the sound of that right there. Look, don't worry about me. How's work going? You sell any houses? Work is good. Um, I've got a few sales pending, yeah. Uh, things have kind of slowed down a little bit, but they should pick up again next week. I see. How's Veronica? I miss her. She's good. Um, a little stressed. Uh, they, they just moved her to the ER, so things are kind of hectic for her. I, I, I told her she should de-stress a little bit, maybe take the weekends off, but... I mean, you know how she is, right? She's got her ways. She's beautiful. She's smart. She's hardworking. What's the problem? <laughs> yeah, you're right. I know I am. Can you do me a favor? Yeah. Can you buy me coffee? Coffee? What? What's wrong with the coffee here? I don't like it. It, It's Arabica bean. Arabica. The name itself sounds like a physical condition. Okay. What kind of coffee do you want? One of those fancy kinds. You know, designer coffee. It's okay as long as it's not the sh one of those schmucky brands. Okay. Yeah, I can get you one of those. Yo. Hey, where are you at? I just got to the house. Good, because I just got off the phone with a friend that just got a call from the casting director at a major network. What are you talking about? A casting director that works for the major network is here in Anchorage right now. Like a, like a TV network? Yeah, so I'll be there to pick you up at 4. The meeting is at 4.30. Uh, Manuel Alvarez? Mm -hmm. Rachel! Oh, pleased to meet. It's good to see you. Right here we have... Chance. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go wait in the lobby. So it's been a while. Sure has. You look different. A lot has changed. Has it? You're the last person I thought I'd see in my office. Well, surprise. So are we going to get along with this interview or what? 
as part of this interview process, I'm required to chat with you and get to know you as a person. But I believe we're past that. Agreed. So what's next? Talk about your experience in acting. Okay. At my time at UCI, I was the main actor in four different films, three of which all won uh, film festivals, one at Palm Springs. Sorry to interrupt. No, you're fine. Someone brought you a package. Who? Uh, it says, Kenneth Dawson, happy anniversary. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, back to what you were saying about your experience. Chance? What are you doing? I just think it's funny that you got an anniversary gift from this Kenneth guy. But we broke up nine months ago. What's wrong with you, Rachel? Why should I matter to you now? I just wish that you wouldn't have wasted my fucking time! You ruin everything. All right, I could have had my own career by now. I could have had my own place. I could have had anything that I was setting myself up for. All right? Don't act like you did. Fuck up, okay? There you go again. Turning everything against me like you always do. You get fired. You don't pay your half of the rent. You spend the last of your money on alcohol and you want to blame me for the way your life turned out? I was going through a lot, Rachel. At least the best thing you could have done is maybe back me up a little, right? I was there for you. Sitting there beside me with your eyes glued on your phone and sharing bullshit relationship posts on social media does not count for being there for me. That's your problem, Chance. Oh, no, 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 no. My problem is falling in love with an egocentric, self-centered, pretentious whore named Rachel. Stop it! Look at you. What happened? This oh. isn't like... Oh, what happened? What happened? I was out there, living on the streets while you were s fooling around with this Kenneth prick, and <laughs> do you know what it's like? To wake up every day not knowing that you're going to eat? Do you know what it's like to sit on the corner begging, begging for a dollar and watching your hands turn to ice? You know what, Rachel? You're full of shit. You're a nobody. And quite frankly, I don't give a damn about you anymore. I'm glad we feel the same way about each other. The worst part is, is that I beat myself up about how things came up between us. I hope one day that you wake up and have nothing. Only then when you see the real you. Chance, how did it go? What did she say? Otherwise, I wouldn't have made the meeting, okay? I'm gonna meet you at the house. I need to go clear my head. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you gonna go do? Well, I'm not gonna go drink. All right?
this is very low. Hey, Mom. Chance? Chance, are you okay? Where are you? I'm good. I'm alright. Your dad and I have been trying to get a hold of you for months. You don't pick up your phone, you don't call us. Chance, what the hell is going on? Chance? Hey, Dad. What do you need? What? I don't want anything. I, I just want to talk. Really? Because you only seem to call when you need something. You want to talk. Then start talking about school, huh? How's that working for you, huh? We pay all this money, and later you decide to drop out without telling us? You don't call anybody? You don't care about anything? I mean, Jesus Christ, Chance. When are you going to wake up? When are you going to stop dreaming about Hollywood? and start working towards an actual career until you can answer those questions. I don't want you calling us again. Goodbye, Chance.
chance? Are you serious right now? You're gonna do this to me again? Answer me, Chance! It's, okay. it's not fucking okay! Look at you. This. This is why Rachel left you. You fucking bum. <laughs> I let you into my house, and you fucking do this to me! Get the fuck out of my house! Happy birthday, Manny. I know you may not believe it, but you've changed my life. Without your help, I would still be missing my buses half drunk at the public bus stations. There's no such thing as a truly happy ending, but having a friend like you 
makes me hopeful for the future. Chance. Hello? Hi, is this Chance? Yes. Hi Chance, this is Mike from Interstate Cinema, a production company here in New York City. How are you doing today? I'm good. That's good to hear. I'm really calling on behalf of Sean Hensley, the director of the feature film that we're currently working on. And well, long story short, he wants to cast you as one of the main actors. You're in Alaska, correct? Yes. Fantastic. Unfortunately, this is very last minute. We need you here very soon, so we need to know within the next 24 hours if this is something you can um, do and would like to Yes, it. yes, I I could. It's just that I don't really have the funds at the moment to get to my... Uh... We're covering your flight and all expenses. The question is, Chance, how soon can you start? Um, as soon as possible. Immediately, sir. Hey Manny, it's me, Chance. I just wanted to touch base and see how things are going. Um, I'm in New York, working on a big film. It's been pretty crazy. I've got some other projects in the work and, uh, well, it looks like I'm finally standing on solid ground. I just really wanted to thank you for your support and helping me out. And hopefully I see you soon. Goodbye, Manny.
The sun is dancing on my windowsill She's saying, come on, baby, just chill I said I can't, no, I got things to do But ain't nobody's acting so damn tall Where everybody asks, how was your day? Please sit down and tell me everything All I really wanted was to feel Something that was just oh so real No bottom good, no I'm away right here I'm so good, no I'm away real still Cause it's alright are brighter than before and these blue eyes are brighter than before